On land, Titanoboa's weight is suffocating it. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the species that have disappeared throughout history. We won't be including any dinosaurs or archaic humans, such as the Homo floresiensis. Well before dinosaurs were here, long before man was even a dream on the planet, trilobites were here dominating the oceans of the world. They were very successful animals. Number 30, Barbary Lion. The disappearance of the Atlas lion in the wild was caused by the degradation of its natural habitat. It used to eat stags, deer, and other mammals that also disappeared. Also known as the Atlas lion, this animal was once an inhabitant of the deserts and mountains of Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and other North African countries. Two were even kept in the Tower of London in the Middle Ages. However, by the mid-1800s, their numbers rapidly declined as firearms and bounties on the majestic creatures increased. According to witnesses, the last sighting of the species was in 1956 near a forest in Algeria. This forest was destroyed during the French-Algerian War in 1958, seemingly finishing the lion's existence in the wild. But not all hope is lost. Some lions kept in zoos have shown similar DNA to the Barbary, and there are claims some Barbary lions are living in the Belfast Zoo. Here we have the Moroccan royal lions, which is the animals descended from the royal palace collection of the King of Morocco. Number 29, Golden Toad. North of Monteverde, Costa Rica is the forest now known as the Monteverde Cloud Forest Biological Preserve. This high altitude area was once home to an abundance of golden toads. While the males only came in orange, the females had a variety of stunning colors. But as time went on, fewer and fewer of them were seen, with the last known sighting of a golden toad recorded in 1989. The extinction of the golden toad is disturbing because it was swift, mysterious, and right in the middle of a protected forest. In 2004, the International Union for Conservation of Nature listed the species as extinct. Some scientists believe climate change caused excessive droughts in the forest, pushing their demise. However, this is disputed by other researchers who speculate disease played a role. In 2004, chytrid was found at the site and mortality in adult frogs spiked. Number 28, passenger pigeon. Birds still go extinct, but the loss of the passenger pigeon made people take notice. For centuries, Native Americans hunted the passenger pigeon or wild pigeon with no issue. But once Europeans arrived, it all went downhill for the bird species. Some scientists estimate that the pigeon was the most populous species in the world, with over 3 billion of them in the early 1800s. Yet due to overhunting and the destruction of their habitat, the bird's numbers fell rapidly. In 1900, the last confirmed wild passenger pigeon was hunted. A hunter could go and collect thousands at a time without you know, really having to try that hard. One of the last captive pigeons was Martha. She was transferred to the Cincinnati Zoo in 1902. Sadly, in 1914, Martha passed away, and with her, the passenger pigeon species went extinct. This is Martha. For a pigeon fan like Lucia, this is like seeing a movie star, the very last passenger pigeon. Number 27, Titanoboa. This mighty predator dominated, then disappeared. Today, the largest snake species in the world is the green anaconda, which can be up to 500 pounds and 29 feet long. But back in the middle to late Paleocene epoch about 60 million years ago, the anaconda had nothing on the Titanoboa. This species is believed to have weighed up to 2,500 pounds and have a length of up to 47 feet. Titanoboa weighed as much as 20 people. Movement on land was a constant fight with gravity. The Titanoboa was first discovered in Colombia in 2002, where its remains were at first incorrectly identified as crocodile bones. It probably lived throughout South America in rainforests and near freshwater, as its main prey appeared to be fish. Some think that ancient climate change may have caused the demise of the Titanoboa. Number 26, Japanese Wolf. For centuries, the Japanese wolf, or honshu wolf, was a fixture in Japanese folklore and in the wild. Shorter than typical wolves, they could be found all over the islands of Honshu, Shikoku, and Kyushu. Yet by the 1700s, rabies and other such viruses were introduced to Japan and rapidly spread through the wolf population. This sparked mass hunting of the species, causing their numbers to fall drastically. The wolf once ran wild across Japan, but its population was decimated by disease, and humans hunted down the last of the animal in the name of protecting livestock. The loss of their habitats didn't help. 
in 1905, the last Japanese wolf was killed. While over the years there have been reports of several sightings of them in the region, nothing has been confirmed and the species is believed to be extinct. Yagi heads a non-profit dedicated to the search and hopes one day to secure the backing of a wealthy foundation or large media organization to expand the hunt for the wolf. In 2021, scientists found the species was the closest ancestor to modern dogs. Number 25, Archelon. At around four and a half meters long and weighing more than two metric tons, Archelon, as it's known, was more than twice the size of the largest sea turtle today, the leatherback. In the modern day, the leatherback sea turtle is the largest turtle species, at up to nearly six feet and 1,100 pounds. But back in the late Cretaceous epoch around 66 to 100 million years ago, the heavyweight monarch was its ancestor, the Archelon. It could grow up to 15 feet in length and weigh up to 7,000 pounds. The Archelon's remains were first discovered in the late 1800s in South Dakota. Interestingly, the species had a prominent beak, similar to modern eagles. It's speculated that the changing positions of the seas and the introduction of new predator species led to the demise of the Archelon. And some of the earliest protostegids had bodies like Archelons, big with lightweight shells, which may have let them travel long distances and spread out around the world. Number 24, Hast's Eagle. Hast's Eagles were the largest eagles that we know of in the entire world. They had a wingspan up to 2.6 meters wide, which is pretty massive. This massive bird called the South Island of New Zealand home for centuries. Weighing up to 33 pounds, it was the largest eagle that ever lived. With a size like that, it needed large prey to feed on with its vulture-like head. And the eagle had that with the moa, a flightless bird. Yet when the Maori people settled on the island around 1300, that all changed. The humans hunted the moa, taking the eagle's primary food source away. At the species' population height, it was estimated there were up to 4,500 breeding pairs. By the year 1400, the Hast's eagle was extinct. People are going to be really surprised by how enormous it is, and our exhibitions are going to show just how spectacular they were. Number 23, Rocky Mountain Locust. In 1874, the U.S. and Canada could do nothing as a swarm of trillions of Rocky Mountain locusts covering two million square miles swept through the Great Plains. They hit 60 fields in the county. You seen anything like this before? The incredible horde caused millions of dollars of damage to crops and property. The following year, the insects returned, this time only covering around 198,000 square miles as they attacked the western United States. But by 1902, the species seemingly vanished as the last reported sighting of the creature was confirmed. Oh, it's a locust. Mandibles, wings, thorax, but God, the size of it is massive. Today, many specimens can be found entombed within the Grasshopper Glacier in Montana. Destruction of their habitat and widespread killing of the insects to protect crops likely led to their demise. Number 22, Stellar Sea Cow. They were also covered by thick skin coated with a hardened protective substance. Named after the famed naturalist and explorer Georg Wilhelm Steller, the Steller sea cow called the Bering Sea around the Commander Islands its home. Feasting on mainly kelp, the Cyrenian could grow up to 30 feet and weigh up to 10 tons. Their front legs did not have fingers or nails. Instead, they ended in stubs covered with bristles and hardened skin. While it's theorized the species' population was already dwindling due to a changing climate, Europeans sped up the process dramatically. Due to the creature's slow movement and plentiful blubber, the sea cow was wiped from existence thanks to hunting within 27 years of Steller describing them in 1747. It's believed their removal badly damaged the ecosystem, allowing kelp forests to grow out of control, which in turn blocks sunlight from reaching deeper waters. Number 21, trilobites. Trilobites were survivors. The history of these creatures shows that they practically invented survival. During the Cambrian period around 570 million years ago, trilobites first appeared in the ecosystem, as we can see from their fossils found all over the world. This class of arthropods filled the oceans for millennia, since their mineralized exoskeletons protected them from predators and two mass extinctions. However, as the years went on, their numbers declined as the climate rapidly shifted, causing several orders to vanish. By the Devonian period around 419 million years ago, only one order survived. 
Once another mass extinction hit during the Permian period around 252 million years ago, the last order was gone, ending the creature's long reign. So the question to ask about trilobites might not be why they went extinct, but how they managed to endure for so long. Number 20, Kauai O'o. This is a song recording of a male O'o singing on Kauai. On this beautiful Hawaiian island lived the Kauai O'o. Before European settlers came to the island, the small bird's population was abundant. But as humans demolished their habitat and introduced all kinds of non-native predators and diseases, the Kauai O'o's numbers dropped. This turmoil badly affected other species, leaving the Kauai O'o as the last bird standing in the Mohoidae family. However, after several severe storms struck the island, the species completely disappeared. The last confirmed sighting of the Kauai O'o was in 1985, while the final recording of its song was in 1987. In 2023, the species was officially declared extinct. He is the last male of a species singing for a female who will never come. Number 19, Dire Wolf. There are no dire wolves south of the wall. Now there are five. No, not dire wolves, dire wolf. Two words, not one. When it's one word, it's a fictional fantasy race that can grow to a massive size. But we're talking about the other, which, although bigger than gray wolves or another extinct subspecies, the Newfoundland wolf, wasn't quite that huge. Dire wolves inhabited China and North America as recently as 9,500 years ago. Of particular note is their bite force, which was the strongest of any known Canis species. Because of this, it's believed that they specialized in hunting large prey, such as the once abundant megafauna that lived in North America. However, with the death of their prey, it's theorized that the dire wolf followed its food sources into extinction. Was the dire wolf unable to satisfy its savage hunger, or did some overwhelming force drive it into oblivion? Number 18, Quagga. The Quagga breeding project is um, an attempt to use selective breeding to breed animals that are as similar as possible in type to the original quaggas which roamed in the Western Cape. Despite its adorable name, this subspecies of zebra is no more. Native to South Africa, the quagga became victim to the hunting of early Dutch settlers and later Afrikaners to provide meat and skins. Disappearing mostly in the 1850s, the wild quagga became officially extinct a few decades later, though some captured ones could be found in zoos. On August 12, 1883, the very last captive specimen died, writing the final entry into the lifespan of this impressive species. We are reviving an extinct species of quagga, and that is for the benefit of, of future generations. Number 17, elephant bird. Many of the mountain specimens have been put together with a number of bones from different specimens. And if you get overenthusiastic, maybe it's quite possible that you stick in one or two extra neck bones. Native to Madagascar, these ostrich lookalikes are believed to have come to an end in the 17th or 18th century. While it's not fully known how the birds died out, it's believed that human activity is the number one suspect. Initially widespread across all areas of the island, there's evidence of their homes being demolished, while the birds themselves were hunted, which led to their untimely demise. Fossilized eggs of the species have remained and have become an increasingly priceless commodity across museums to this day. Although there were several factors threatening the bird's survival, it could have been people eating the eggs who dealt the species its final blow. Number 16, Bear Dog. Look, charging right at us with huge teeth. It's a bear. It's a dog. It's Amphicyon. Popularly known as a bear dog, Amphicyon had features like both carnivorous mammals. And it was just one of a very diverse group of ancient meat eaters that ruled the Northern Hemisphere for over 30 million years. Although it had a tail and teeth like a wolf or dog, its huge body, which could weigh over half a ton, was more comparable to a bear's. Size matters, and size can dictate a vicious cycle that ends in species extinction. The bigger you are, the more food you need. And of course, they're mammals with a very high metabolic rate. Thought to have originated in North America, bear dogs spread out over Asia, Europe, and Africa too. Although they lived between 16 and 2 million years ago, the rise of other, swifter mammal carnivores is theorized to have forced them into decline. Number 15, Great Auk. A flightless water bird, the Great Auk once roamed the waters of the Northern Atlantic Ocean, ranging from Europe to North America. 
generally a little under three feet tall and featuring a hooked beak and webbed feet. Great auks were strong swimmers, but auk word on land. A mere 250 years ago, you could see thousands of them in vast colonies. Now, they're all gone. Tragically, the great auk was hunted to extinction by humans, with cultures all over the Atlantic killing it for its meat and especially its down, which was in high demand. The last two confirmed great auks were killed on an island near Iceland in 1844. Still, its legacy would live on in other ways, such as its scientific name, Pinguinus impennis, which inspired the naming of penguins, given their resemblance. Conservationists say the story of its extermination should act as a warning. Number 14. Short-Faced Bear Although we considered discussing another extinct bear species, the Atlas Bear of Africa, we're electing to discuss a less recent extinct bear. Short-faced bears were native to North America and came in two species, the lesser short-faced bear and the greater short-faced bear. It's huge, weighing 900 kilos, 3.4 meters tall on two legs. It could reach higher than a basketball hoop. True to their name, both species had shorter snouts than most bears. However, while the lesser species was comparable in size to modern bears, the greater short-faced bear was a massive six feet tall at the shoulder. It could look a tall human in the eye. It was possibly the largest terrestrial mammalian predator to ever live, and some weighed more than a ton. They became extinct around 11,000 years ago, possibly due to global cooling. As the Earth's new rulers, we just might learn something from this vanished and mighty predecessor. Number 13, aurochs. The aurochs was a type of wild cattle and is the ancestor of the domestic cattle common today. Compared to modern cattle, they had longer legs and larger heads, no doubt to support the weight of their larger horns. Not much smaller than an elephant. Extraordinary in size and strength sparing neither man nor wild beast. Once found throughout Europe, Asia, and Africa, the aurochs gradually died out due to excessive hunting, encroachment by humans, as well as diseases spread from regular cattle. Although they went extinct in 1627, their genes survive in domesticated cattle, and a number of attempts have been made to breed the aurochs, or something like it, back into existence. My brother and I now had to do was to unite in a single animal all those characteristics of the wild aurochs that are now found spread between different breeds of tame cattle. Number 12, Baiji. Commonly referred to as the Chinese river dolphin, the majestic creature could only be found in the Yangtze River in the Asian country where it got its name. Affectionately nicknamed the goddess of the Yangtze, the Baiji became victim to the growing advances and industrialization of modern China that led to massive water pollution. By the end of the 20th century, there were possibly only 13 wild dolphins left in the Yangtze. Repeated efforts were made to conserve the species, but an expedition in 2006 failed to discover any remaining Baiji in the river. The last living Baiji, known as Chi Chi, died in 2002. For the international conservation community, it really needs to act as a wake-up call that we need to be far more efficient and far more quick to react to conservation crises in the future. Number 11, Caspian Tiger. While we consider discussing the also extinct subspecies of tiger from Bali and Java, we're focusing on the Caspian Tiger. As its name implies, they were native to areas near the Caspian Sea and beyond being found as far west as Turkey and as far east as West China. Of the tiger subspecies, the Caspian tiger was most closely related to the Siberian tiger, although its coats tended to be brighter colored. The cause of its extinction was naturally humans hunting it. Although our killing of their food supply, like wild boar, didn't make it any easier for them to survive. The Caspian tiger was declared extinct in 2003. Number 10, ground sloth. This animal's called Megatherium, marvelous name, but all it means is big animal. What was once a unique beast that thrived during the Ice Age periods is now known for associating with a dim-witted animated film character. Ah, we did it! We did it! What? what? Upon their extinction over 10,000 years ago, it's believed to be no coincidence that the deaths of the ground sloth are linked to humanity's entry into the North American regions. 
though climate change was also a factor. The sloth's best defense was to inflict damage with its long, sharp claws. With large and dangerous looking claws, speculation remains to this day about whether this variation of sloth only used them to collect bark from trees, though it's most likely that these mammals were herbivores. Although slow moving, its massive size was protection against smaller predators like the saber-toothed cat. Number nine, Western black rhino. Several subspecies of black rhinos have gone extinct in recent history, and the most recent is the Western black rhinoceros. Once found in Nigeria, Cameroon, Chad, and the Central African Republic, the Western black rhinos were hunted to extinction, both in defense of human population centers and for sport and folk medicine remedies. Humans are the adult rhino's only predator in the wild. Black rhinos are killed in Africa for their valuable horns, which are sold as decorations, medicinal cures, and aphrodisiacs. Despite conservation efforts, the western black rhino was declared extinct in 2011, with the final known specimen dying in 2006. Tragically, the western black was part of an overall decline of black rhinos in general, with a staggering 96% of all subspecies being killed between 1970 and 1992, a mere 22 years later. It's such an iconic species. If we can't save the rhino, how on earth are we going to save species that are of much less public interest? Number eight, moa. The moa. Some of the biggest and most extraordinary birds to have ever walked the earth. New Zealand is fairly isolated from the rest of the world, and this isolation led to the development of some truly strange birds. Moa were once nine different species of wingless, flightless birds that inhabited the New Zealand archipelago. The smallest were still fairly large birds, around the size of a turkey. The biggest species, though, could reach up to 12 feet tall. Naturally, when humans first discovered the islands, the moa were a readily available and large food source. Sadly, every species was hunted to extinction within 100 years of humanity's arrival in New Zealand, although unconfirmed sightings persisted for several centuries afterwards. Number seven, Eurasian cave lion. Slowly, slowly, slowly. <laughs> People tend to associate the king of the jungle as a largely African species, but this extinct Eurasian subspecies may prove otherwise. Speculated to have become extinct around 10,000 years ago, these beasts were huge, on average over seven feet long without the tail, and could weigh 700 pounds. Massive in size, and a massive tongue twister to say, as their official name is the Panthera leo spelia, their fates were sealed when settlers made their way into their homes. And the rest, as they say, is history. In total darkness, the lion must use its senses of smell and hearing to land a killer blow. Number six, Irish elk. It has antlers so vast and elaborate, they stretch 12 feet from tip to tip. They are the crowning glory of the magnificent Irish elk. Despite its name, this species of deer was not exclusive to Ireland, making its way across Eurasia and Northern Africa for thousands of years. The Irish elk is known for being the largest species of deer ever found, as they could have stood at 12 feet with antler height included. Unable to survive subarctic conditions, which caused a lack of good food, it's been suggested that the last of these deer may have died out about 11,000 years ago in Ireland, hence its given name. Others may have survived the Ice Age through Europe, but were probably hunted down. The case of the Irish elk reveals that faced with a changing world, too highly evolved a design can actually prove an animal's undoing. Number five, Gigantopithecus. Gigantopithecus is an extinct species of large ape. Estimating its exact appearance and size has proven difficult because only their jaws and teeth have been discovered. From these remains, it's believed they were herbivores and weighed somewhere between 400 pounds and over half a ton. But an even closer look at these teeth has revealed much more than just how big this animal was. For one thing, scientists have been able to use them to figure out who its closest living relatives are. Originally thought to have been an ancestor of humans, Gigantopithecus is now thought to be more closely related to orangutans. Native to what is now southern China, Gigantopithecus went extinct around 300,000 years ago, with changing climate the likely culprit. Still, there are those who believe Gigantopithecus may be the origin behind legends like the Yeti or Bigfoot. So who knows if they're all gone or not? Number four, Dodo. Protect the Dodo way of life! Survival separates the Dodo from the beast! 
most of us have seen the animated movie Ice Age. You can recall a joke that implied this famous bird died out during that time period, but this is actually untrue. The dodo seemed so bizarre and comical that by the 18th century, some scientists doubted it had ever existed at all. Due to their hunting by Dutch sailors that had arrived on the island of Mauritius, the flightless bird became extinct. However, their official extinction was only confirmed in the 19th century, despite their increasing rarity in the 17th century. The dodos are constantly on the lookout for fallen fruit, pouncing on it before competitors arrive. Slow and unafraid of humans, the dodo was only a little over three feet tall and between 25 and 45 pounds, but achieved contemporary fame by appearing in pop culture, like Disney's Alice in Wonderland. And I never, never, ever do a thing about the weather, for the weather never, ever does a thing for me. Number three, saber-toothed cat. Saber-tooth's power and weaponry were overwhelming, but suddenly, mysteriously, it became extinct. Misleadingly known as a saber-toothed tiger, these predators were vastly known far and wide for their curved and massive canine teeth. Once the teeth are engaged, those vessels can be sawed by those serrated edges on front or back. Despite officially having the cat in their name, they're not closely related to the modern animals and were in fact more agile, choosing to pounce from trees and then attacking with their almost foot-long teeth. With the Smilodon being the most well-known, these mammals' vicious nature proved to be their downfall at the end of the last ice age, as most of their chosen prey had either died out or had, ironically, been hunted by the cats themselves. Thus, the saber-toothed cat became extinct through its own means of hunting. The art of killing always strives toward perfection, and given the chance, a saber-toothed cat might well evolve again. Number two, Megalodon. Sharks have long fascinated people. And a giant shark? Well, that's even more interesting for some, and more terrifying for others. Swimming the deep as recently as 3.6 million years ago, Megalodon shares a common ancestor with the great white shark, and they're generally reconstructed to appear similar to them. Still, while they may look like a great white, their size is even greater, with some estimates putting them at up to 52 feet long. Megalodon was probably the apex predator of all time. People think T-Rex or something like that. It's dwarfed by Megalodon. Megalodon is huge, maybe even 70 feet long. Their extinction is believed to have been caused primarily by a cooling trend from one of the planet's ice ages, which would have lowered sea levels and led to a loss of prey large enough to sustain them. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, woolly mammoth. It was the early mammoths that grew truly huge, some standing over four meters tall at the shoulder and weighing twice as much as an African bull elephant truly one of the animal giants, it remains the greatest shame that this mammoth species is no longer with us. Surviving through the Ice Age thanks to its obvious woolly exterior, the mammoths coexisted with human life for years in the New World, along with the similarly elephantine mastodon. Their herds clearly inspired cave art. We've been transfixed by their majesty for thousands of years. Humanity found many uses for the bones of the prehistoric elephant, such as utilizing them for tools and using them in making homes. However, long-term shifts in climate seem to have affected the mammoth's native lands and safety, leading them to migrate to other pastures. Finally, the creatures made their last stand on Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean, surviving until 4,000 years ago and finally concluding their existence. Iconic and majestic, mammoths were once a mystery. Now we understand them better, we still revere them. If you could bring back one extinct animal, which species would you pick? Let us know below. But none is more haunting than the song of the last kawaii o o. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.